Hello, my name is Rod Lawton, and I'm here at the launch of not one new Canon digital SLR, but four. The star of the show is this, the Canon EOS 5DS. And all the rumors are true. This has a full frame sensor with no fewer than 50.6 million pixels. That is going to change everything in the pro DSLR market. For three years, Nikon had everything its own way with a 36 megapixel D800 and D810. This will change everything. Now this camera will carry on alongside the existing EOS 5D Mark III. Same body, same controls, same overall appearance, same weatherproofing. There are differences though. Inside, Canon has had to redesign the base plate, the shutter mechanism and the mirror mechanism to reduce vibration because with this level of resolution, any tiny bit of shake will show. The 5DS has a couple of other interesting features, including a choice of crop modes. There's a 1.3 crop mode to simulate the effect of the old Canon 1D series. And there's 1.6 times crop mode to simulate the effect of Canon's smaller APS-C models. Bear in mind though that Canon is not saying you can fit the smaller EFS lenses onto this body. That's not the same thing. The 1.3 times crop mode gives you 30 megapixels. The 1.6 times crop mode gives you 19 megapixels. So you can still get very high resolution images even in these crop modes. Now the 5DS is aimed at a slightly different kind of user to the 5D Mark III. The 5D Mark III is very popular with videographers, but the 5DS with the high resolution sensor is probably going to be more popular with stills photographers. It does shoot full HD movies, but Canon has taken an interesting decision here. They've ditched the earphone socket for monitoring sound levels while they film and replaced it with a USB 3 port for faster image transfer. And given the size of this camera's files, that could be a smart move. Now, despite its high resolution sensor, the 5GS can still shoot at a pretty commendable five frames a second. That's because it incorporates two Canon Digit 6 processors. But there is one more twist. There is also a 5DS R version. Canon has done what Nikon did with the original D800 and produced one with an anti-aliasing filter and one with no anti-aliasing effect. Canon has done the same here. Interestingly, the 5DS R uses a second anti-aliasing filter to cancel out the effects of the first. Now that sounds a bit cockeyed, but they've done that so that they don't have to completely redesign the inside of the camera. This means they can keep the position of the sensor focal plane the same. If you like the EOS 5D Mark III, and a lot of people do, you're going to love this camera. We think it is going to be massive. 